this road looks amazing, bro. Put your camera away, I got my GoPro. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video. Today it's going to be a little different than the last one. Um, this is going to be a tutorial. I'll show you guys how I get my panorama shots. And uh, the Mavic 2 does a great job of stitching them together for you in JPEG. But what I'm talking about is the raw copy. I'm going to show you how to keep a raw copy of each photo and how easy it is to stitch it together in Lightroom. Edit yourself and come out with a much better result. But first, we're just gonna head up the hill up here, uh, put the drone in the air, and get some, uh, get some panorama shots. All right, so we're almost to the top. We're actually sitting right below some pretty big power lines. We don't have to be at the ridge. That's the beauty of drones. We could just fly up there, you know? So I would do it right here, but uh, just the power lines. I'm a little iffy about the power lines. Otherwise, I'd probably just launch here. Don't have to go far though. So we're gonna, we're gonna put the drone up right over here. Probably take off. Try to find a spot where it won't get so dirty. All right, so. I've been fortunate enough to find one spot. It's all sand and grass that is literally gonna get just sucked right up in the Mavic. So I was fortunate enough that I found this right here. So I have a little bit of asphalt, so this is a great place to take off from. Okay, so it wasn't the best conditions. It was pretty smoggy, foggy, whatever. Um, but either way, I got a few panorama shots and uh, we're gonna head back right now, load those up into the computer and I'll show you exactly how I edited them, edit them in Lightroom. Okay, so I'm back at the house, transferred all my files over to the hard drive and I'm about to start processing these through Lightroom. But before I do that, I wanna walk you through step-by-step step how to switch your panoramas in the DJI app so that you can keep a raw copy of each one. The way you wanna do this is you wanna turn on your remote and then turn on your craft. I actually have not put the propellers on and I recommend that you do the same thing so it doesn't actually try to fly away on you uh, if you accidentally hit a button while trying to do this. But either way, go into the menu uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner and from here you're going to want to go all the way to, to the top right where you see that little gear click on that and then right here where it says save original panorama you're going to want to make sure that's green and engaged like that now it defaults to JPEG so what you want to do is actually go over here and hit raw make sure you have a a uh, good SD card, one with plenty of space, because these are big files. Uh, you could have nine images in one, uh, sometimes I think 21 for some of these panoramas, and uh, maybe even more. So just make sure you have plenty of space before you do this. But either way, that's all you need to do. You are ready to go. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is bring up your SD card. Go to the DCIM folder. See here, I have quite a few raw files, these DNG files, but occasionally you'll see a JPEG. And I don't usually save my files as JPEGs, so you may not even notice that when you're um, copying your files for the day, um, but these will be your panoramas that DJI stitched together for you. Um, and then what it does is it actually creates this separate folder right over here. It's called the panorama folder, pretty obvious, huh? You open that up, and in here, each one of these file folders is a panorama shot. So let's say you'd open up this one, and in here is nine images that you'll be stitching together. 
don't worry about the order. Um, just keep in mind where you are copying these two. So I have panoramas here. I'm gonna copy them and create a new folder. We'll just call this, this folder drone, okay? And uh, we're gonna put all the files right in here. Okay, now that that's complete, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this. I'm gonna actually eject the uh, memory card now and uh, open up Lightroom. So what we're gonna do is go to import photos and video. Go to the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, whoops. We're gonna go to desktop and then drone was the folder. So we go drone, click there and import all. Once all your pictures have loaded into Lightroom, you're going to bring up your um, panoramas for reference. So here's the first file folder. I'm going to open that up. I have nine panoramas here. And uh, kind of keep an eye of what the first and last does look like. So I'm just going to put that off to the side for now and go back in here. And I know that there are nine photos and uh, these two definitely look like the first and last. So. What you want to do is you're going to want to hold down shift, right click, head on down to photo merge, panorama. And uh, not what you were probably expecting. So uh, you have a lot of uh, uneven lines here that definitely don't look good and are going to look weird if you just export it like this. So there's two ways you can do this. You could warp the boundaries to make them straight by sliding this bar right here all the way to the right. Okay. Not my preferred method. You could click on auto crop here and it's going to crop it down for you. And that's actually a good option. I do like that option. But the one I use the most is fill edges. So it's going to do a content aware fill and fill in the edges for you. Let's give it some time to do that. And there it is. So um, for this, I'm going to go with fill edge and uh, go to the next one. Okay, so why that file is merging, I'm going to go ahead and select my next batch and basically repeat the process. Okay, so I got my nine photos selected and the first one is complete. We're gonna go back to Panorama. Whoa. Okay, so that's a little weird. Um, I've had this happen to me a few times, but not a problem. You can actually, this is just a portion of the sky, very easy for a content aware fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and just fill it in. What a gorgeous photo. Um, was a little hazy and I definitely see a lot of noise here, but uh, this looks like one we can definitely work with here. Okay, so let's jump on in and uh, edit this photo. I do have the auto settings enabled here so that uh, we get a little bit of a head start here. But the first step for me is to always go down here. And typically, if I wasn't working with a panorama, I would go right to the profile correction. But since I'm working with nine photos stitched together, I'm just going to remove the chromatic aberrations. And so then I'm going to head right on back up here. And the first thing I'd like to do is just kind of play with the highlights a little bit and see how much detail comes out in the sky. And uh, keep it right about there. And the thing about throwing the shadows all the way up is your image is definitely going to look flat. So I usually like to find a good spot right about here. That looks good. I'm going to bring my whites down just a little bit and the blacks as well. Bring up my exposure. Really happy with the contrast here. Um, if you haven't noticed already, DJI photos are, do you have a lot of contrast? So um, it's a good idea to, to kind of keep that to a minimum. Next, I'm gonna go down to the texture clarity and dehaze sliders to add some sharpness. 
Okay, so... Don't want to go too overboard with this. Add some clarity. Get rid of some of that haze. Not much. I am not a fan of dehaze. Okay, so happy with the vibrance. I'm going to reduce the saturation just a little bit there. Okay, I like that. Um, I'm not going to mess with the tone curve right now. This is just a simple edit to kind of show you my, my basic process here. Um, really uh, kind of happy with the uh, the hues here, so I'm not going to mess with those. But I do want to take a look at the saturation. There are a lot of yellows. I'm going to go ahead and bring those down just a little bit. Bring the browns, the oranges, sorry. Bring the oranges down a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with that so far. Okay, we're going to go down here. Sharpening. This image, don't want to sharpen too much. But we'll go ahead and add a mask. Perfect. All right. And um, this is completely optional. I will add a post crop vignette on this. It just really kind of uh, gives you that, just adds a little warmth to it. So I, this isn't post crop. So if you want to add a vignette, it's totally up to you. I do. I like the, the way it looks in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to this photo and, um, and then head back on up here and maybe just warm it up ever so slightly. No, I'm going to keep it where it's at actually, because there actually is a lot of smog. There's been some fires too. So, um, it's not really a good day for that. But anyway, so I'm pretty happy with this photo. Okay. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future episodes or tutorials. Thank you.